Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up ambient occlusion inside Blender. So let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do is create a little scene so I can actually test out this uh, rendering feature. So let's go up to Add Mesh Plane and I'm going to scale this up just a little bit so it's above the grid or about the size of the grid. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up to Add Mesh and I'm going to create a cube and I'm going to set this just about on top of the plane. So let's go up to Render, Render Image, and what you'll see is Ambient Occlusion is not enabled yet. Okay, so I'm going to hit Exit to close that out. And to enable Ambient Occlusion, what we're going to do is go over to the right side of our screen, and you're going to see this World tab here. So let's press this button, the World button, and what we're going to get is some rendering options over here. And if you look down, you're going to see ambient occlusion right there. So I'm going to enable it. I'm going to check that box. And take note that the factor is set to 1, so it's going to be a pretty intense ambient occlusion render. So let's go up to Render, Render Image. And now you'll see ambient occlusion is indeed enabled. So I'm going to close this out again. I'm going to go over to Factor here with the Ambient Occlusion and I'm going to set it to 0.4. And that's just basically going to lower the intensity of the Ambient Occlusion when I go back up to Render, Render Image. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit softer. So that's basically how you set up Ambient Occlusion inside of Blender. Thanks for watching guys. And please remember to subscribe, comment, and thumbs up this video. It does help. Thanks.